Wash your hands and put on an apron. Collect a sharp spoon. Gather and prepare all the equipment into a clean plastic tray. In the blue blood culture bag, there will be a blue anaerobic bottle and a red anaerobic bottle. There will be two alcohol and chlorhexidine cleaning wipes. One is to clean the patient's skin. The other one is to clean both of the bottle tops. Remove the dust caps. Thoroughly clean the top of the bottles. The green 21 gauge multi-fly needle and the blood culture adapter cap. Open carefully and attach together. The key parts are protected. The needle inside the cap is protected by the cap. It's covered in a green silicon sheet. The butterfly needle is protected by a plastic end cap. So the packaging can be thrown away and this can be placed safely inside the clean plastic tray. A fresh pack of sterile gauze. Carefully open the packet but leave the sterile gauze inside the packaging to maintain sterility a single-use tourniquet, and a pair of non-sterile gloves. The procedure is performed using an aseptic non twitch technique and the skin will not be repalpated again after cleaning. However, if on assessment of the patient's veins, they are very difficult to find and there is no obvious landmark to help locate the vein after skin cleaning, then a pair of sterile gloves must be worn if repalpation is unavoidable. Confirm the patient's identity, explain the procedure, and gain consent. Decontaminate hands with alcohol gel. Apply the tourniquet and palpate to find a suitable vein in the antecubital fossa. Once a suitable vein has been located, release the tourniquet. Clean the patient's skin for 30 seconds. method is called crosshatch or up and down. Go over and over the same area of skin, up and down, backwards and forwards. Maintain constant contact with the skin. Ensure this is timed for 30 seconds. skin to air dry for approximately 30 seconds. Reapply the tourniquet. Secure the skin and vein. Remove the protective cap and insert the needle into the vein. Take the blue aerobic culture bottle first and push into the cap. Follow this with the red anaerobic culture bottle. If at this point any routine bloods are required, remove the adapter cap and then samples can be taken directly from the butterfly needle whatever blood bottles are required in the correct order. A discard sample is not required if a blood culture sample has already been taken. After blood sampling, release the tourniquet and prepare a piece of gauze. Remove the needle, applying the safety guard and apply pressure at the site with gauze. Dispose of any sharps and waste, wash your hands 
and labels specimens as per trust policy.